Welcome to KOL Now News, your one and only news source for all aspects of Korean culture. Let's take a look at what happened this week. TXT's new music video for the latest title track Blue Hour came out on October 26. The song has a bright and energetic vibe and the music video features a dreamy pastel aesthetic. Leader Subin said that the group wanted to deliver a message that people, especially those of their age, could relate to. Blue Hour, along with four additional tracks, make up the group's new EP. That same day, TWICE released the music video for I Can Stop Me, the title track of their second full-length Korean album, Eyes Wide Open. This electropop song uses a lot of European and US sound effects from the 80s, and the storyline of the video focuses on how the members of TWICE face the duality of good and evil. On October 29th, CL dropped her double singles Hua and Five Star. To celebrate the releases, she made an appearance on The Late Late Show with James Gordon. It's almost like CL's career has come full circle, as she performed her US debut solo track Lifted on the same program back in 2016. Mino from Winner released his second studio album Take, as well as a music video for the lead single Runaway Today. Take features a star-studded lineup consisting of collaboration with Bobby, Zayanti, Minoy, BY, and DPR Live. On to dramas. On October 26, Kairos, known as Kairos in Korean, starring Chin Sun Rock from Vagabond and The Last Empress, as well as Lee Se Young from Dr. John and Abu Hyun from Ite One Class, premiered on NBC. This fantasy thriller series is about a man with a seemingly perfect life until his daughter is kidnapped and found dead. Later, he received a mysterious phone call and gets in contact with someone from one month in the past who may be able to help him. The drama airs every Monday and Tuesday at 9.20 p.m. Korea time. On October 21st, Penthouse, known as Penthouse in Korean, starring Lee Ji-ya, Yoo Jin from SES, and Kim so Yeon, popular for her roles in Mother of Mine and Happy Home, premiered on NBC. This suspenseful series is about a woman who wants to become the queen of the 100th floor of a penthouse in Gangnam, and explores the concept of mothers who turn to evil actions in order to protect themselves and their children. The drama airs every Monday and Tuesday at 10.20 p.m. Korea time, so don't miss out. Our webtoon highlight for today is Sub-Zero by Junper. Sub-Zero is a romantic fantasy series about Claw, the last princess of a near-extinct dragon clan. In order to bring peace to her land, she must marry Cairo, her sworn enemy and prince of the Crimson Army. This webtoon is updated every Monday and has 89 episodes available to binge read right now. Lisa from Blackpink recently became the first K-pop idol to become a global ambassador for MAC Cosmetics. In a press release, the company revealed that Lisa will be the face of MAC's renowned collection and key campaigns, as well as the muse for the brand's exciting innovation projects. Our food highlight of the week is channel, meaning spotted gizzard shad in English. The best time for eating this fish is during the fall season from September to October. Jonal can be enjoyed in many different ways such as grilled and crispy and even in raw slices. It is so delicious that it is even mentioned in an old Korean proverb. Meaning, the smell of grilled chono will make even the runaway daughter-in-law come home. From October 23rd to January 24th, the BTS pop-up Map of the Soul Showcase will be operating in Seoul. There will also be two additional locations in Tokyo and Singapore. The exhibitions consist of a main showroom full of merchandise, spaces that recreates music video sets from the album, and an area for the BTS-inspired Tinny Tan characters. Fans are required to reserve tickets in advance and are required to follow COVID-19 safety protocols. On October 23rd, Monster X were named Goodwill Ambassadors for the 19th International Anti-Corruption Conference. The event was streamed live on YouTube where the group received a letter of appointment from the Chief of the Anti-Corruption and Civil Rights Commission. Put on your party hearts and get ready to celebrate. Here are next week's idol birthday so you won't forget. And 
that's all for this week's news report. Thanks for watching. Comment down below your favorite news of the week. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for even more exciting news about Korean culture. See you again next Friday.